Hey guys, welcome back to another Breach Racehorse video. Here it is, the promised level 200 Stark. Now, this may not be an ordinary Stark. You see, one time I got really lucky on stream, I rebuilt a golden Chappie, and this is a golden Chappie with 30% attack. Now, this is, again, no ordinary golden Chappie, but a golden Chappie with 30% attack. So I've seen him hit for 10k damage. I haven't used him with a boost strong attack because he would just be probably broken if he did. But today we're looking at level 200 Coyote Stark remake with his awesome Zero Swords. So let's begin. Level 200, obviously, 1,030 stamina, 747 attack, 343 defense, 315 focus, and 599 spiritual pressure. So obviously his attack is way higher. His soul trait is normal attack damage for those who don't know. And he's a soul reaper killer, doing 20% more damage against soul reaper enemies. So let's have a look at his soul tree. My goodness, this character, in my opinion, is just so fun to play, especially for those who love to use normal attacks. He just slices up everything. Now, someone suggested this. Thank you to the person who commented this. He does have a skill right here in front of his skill node, which needs two Juicy Rose and one Shunsui, so do keep that in mind. But anyways, let's have a look at his skills real quick. So, he's got increased splash dust plus one, always good, necessity for six star. You've got a normal attack range up by 20, always useful. Normal attack speed up by 20, and normal attack power up by 20. 40%, 4-0 guys, 40%, and strong attack power up by 30%. So Stark's already a beast right there. And he's got increase for a special 40% damage. So already he's getting 30% increase for his normal attack, strong attack, and the power up. But obviously his strength isn't his normal attack from his attack stat and his soul trait. So I'm gonna try and do my best. I did so many rerolls, so many fusions. I just like this build the best because it gives a lot of stats to him overall. As you see, his defense is focused, just everything is pretty high except for his SP, obviously. But let's have a look. He's got the golden chappy, all stats 36%, 30% attack. We've got a regular chappy, max out SP 0, 30% all stats, 24% stamina, 10% all stats, and 20% stamina. We've got 20% normal tech damage from Biakia, 25% normal tech damage from Renji, and 30% increased damage at low health from White Ichigo. So in total, he'll basically be doing 20, 20, which is 40, uh, 65, 95% more damage. And with his killer and attribute advantage in the Biakia raid, you guys will see, especially when he reaches a high combo, He'll just be blowing your mind. So let's get straight into this. In my opinion, he is a strong character. I haven't tested him out in PvP yet, but I'm really excited to. But yeah, Golden Chappy for Stark. I'm sorry I did so many fusions, so many rerolls on accessories. I don't know why. Accessories just hate me. I just cannot get a single good second effect. I kept getting stamina, I kept getting focus, just 6%. It's it was just really, really annoying. Anyways, so. I'm also a little sick, so sorry for that. He's, he's got normal combo string right here. One, two, three, four. As you see, very quick. He's got his first strong attack here, which we say dash forward with his wolves. All of them break melee guard, which is definitely a necessity for a normal attack character. His second strong attack is basically jump in the air and he summons swords falling down. Large area easily breaks enemies of hordes. And then his third strong attack basically just slash slash. I see it's full screen and all the way back there. So as you guys can see, right off the bat, he is just getting a ton of damage, about 6k. So we're gonna take some damage here so we can activate um, White Ichigo's soul trait here. And as you guys will see, he will do a ton of damage. So right now, with Ichigo's soul trait activated, look at this. 10k damage, one strong attack. And I guess well, that time because they were a little bit far away, I missed. But he's he's just a fast, like such a fast agile character. I'm really lost for words right now. I am a little bit sick still, but still looking at this 9k damage. You'll see that as I get a higher combo with the increased 10% damage, he'll be hitting for like almost 10k something consistently. Once you get the normal attack combo string going, then he'll be dealing a lot more damage. So let's just get straight into this. Look at this 8k, 7k. Let's even get that 10k crit. Gonna get that guard break right there. Flash step away. Um, I don't remember if he has triple flash step. There you go. 10k damage. I don't remember if he does have triple flash step. Um, let me see. One, two, three. I believe he actually does have triple flash step. I don't remember exactly. Uh, let me test that again. One, two, three. I believe he does have triple flash step. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think he does have triple flash step. By, um, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that. But as you guys can see, 11k damage right there. Imagine what Stark could do now with the boost. Like, this is just insane. Or if I had um, two do Ichigos and a Ginjo, he'd be doing 90% plus whatever the heck. He is just such a strong character. Um, when I first got him, I never really thought he'd be this insane of a character. But seeing this, if I got Kenpachi in this co-op room right now, sorry, in this um, single player room right now, 
I popped on his boost strong attack. He'd probably be hitting for like 12k or something. And after we saw Rubik Cut, we thought the game would just be broken, but my goodness, Stark just does a wonderful job. So fast with his normal attack. And then his strong attack, they just they, they just come out of nowhere, break the guard before the enemies even know what hit them. He's just taking them all down. Just just like that. So let's quickly get up these out. We do 9k damage. Let's move on to the boss. And we're hopefully. Oh, I'll just try and dodge this time, but usually because Byakia has to charge up his normal attack. So he can just rush in here. He's got the special. Iku. There you go. Byakia's gonna charge up. We're gonna rush in there. Just use our normal attacks. Hit for 11k damage. And that's basically it. So, sorry if I am talking a little bit too fast. I'll try and slow it down a bit. But yeah, you guys can see this character. Is insane. He's got his double zero swords, his soul trait. Just, I don't know. I, this character just absolutely blows my mind, and he's such a fun character to play. Especially, you just love destroying everything. He cuts up enemies like Nori Tora, but it's just like he has flurry or something. He just slices them up so fast. His normal attacks are so fast, as I already said. They just slice up enemies like it's butter, like they're butter. So, yeah. I wonder how many times I said butter in this video. Anyways, let's get on to the strong attack damage build. Okay, guys. So here we are with the strong attack damage build. Let's have a look. So basically, 20% SP, 20% SP, 20% SP, 20% stamina, and 20% defense, zero focus. And we got 20% uh, attribute weakness decrease, and 40% stamina, 25% strong attack, 20% strong attack damage, and increase 30% damage at low health. So I'm going to try and get low health from the start of the quest this time because I messed it up uh, basically off tape when I tried this. So let's do this again. Stark definitely stronger with his normal attacks but i can see why you would build the skirt to hybrid i mean he's just really fast and definitely just a really great character overall so again with this skill he's got increased of 30 percent on his strong attack so let's go straight into this so let's gonna take some damage because these enemies can't exactly do too much to us right here um, i'm just hoping i don't get paralyzed because when you're low and you get paralyzed that's when it starts to get annoying there you go okay so first strong attack Definitely, there's an increase. You're seeing about 4k. Uh, let's even get a crit for 5k and get them bolted up right here. But definitely, his strong attacks have great range. And definitely, that third strong attack being um, full strength can definitely be good in PvP. Um, not too sure if you want to build him in PvP with strong attacks, but he's definitely worth just trying out, just experimenting with him. And he can do the job fairly well. Okay, so moving on to the second stage, taking the enemies far, fairly easily. Um, still, doing some good damage. I mean, for the fact that he has nothing equipped that increases his attack technically, um, except for that maybe Ichigo Link, the white Ichigo Link for 30, increased 30% 30 damage, he's doing quite a good amount with his normal attacks. I'm seeing about 3k, which is fairly not that bad. I mean, for 200, maybe you could expect better or worse. But still, overall, just a great character, does the job nicely. As you would expect, their strong attack full screen gonna take down all of the weaker enemies and just take this out easily. So there you go. Definitely, obviously with the killer and attribute advantage, he's doing a lot more. But you know, he can still do the job of take down this horde of enemies right here with that first shot attack, raining swords, and we're basically good. Still reminds me of Senki Biaki, but I know Stark's design is still like different. So it's oh geez, I almost wasn't paying attention right there. So let's take down the enemies real quick. As you guys see, we got 10% increased damage for having a 216 combo. Let's get that third straw attack. Second straw attack, bring down those swords, and move on to the next stage. So, definitely special will be doing a lot more damage because I already showed it the first time with normal attack damage. I'm gonna skip the special this time, but you guys will still be able to see the damage from Stark right here. So let's get that first strong attack. If I can just flash step through here. Definitely having a lot of flash steps from Stark is definitely like one of his trademarks, being the number one Espada. Definitely um, great to have for PvE, obviously. Basically, when you're doing quests. So, when you swipe, take them out. There you go. Okay. So, let's see what his special can do. Again, he doesn't have any Tenshi ties on, so do keep that in mind. But again, with that increased damage for special, see what he can do right here. Got yeah, first strong attack. Get out the special right here. Still gonna do a good amount. So, while Yakia is charging up a strong attack, let's finish him off. And we'll be good right there. So, there you go. Strong attack damage. Still easily able to do the job. I think I'm gonna do the hybrid build. Um, because he's not a strong attack damage character, I don't think I really wanna do recharge. But... I'm gonna move on to the hybrid build, and then we'll do some PvP with him. Um, I'm gonna try strong attack damage first, just because that's what I like to do or use in the PvP. So, 
Anyways, let's move on to the hybrid build. Okay guys, so here is Stark with the hybrid build. So, we've got the Byakia and Rinji Link, 25% uh, strong attack damage, 25% normal attack damage, 50% increased all damage, low health, white Ichigo. And then we've got two stuff, I feel like you need more boost to his strong attacks just to keep it a little bit more balanced because, you know, soul trait, normal attack damage. So we got some SP there and 10% all stats and stamina. So, let's try this again. Again, Stark overall, just being a great character. I'm, I know I'm just saying this too many times, but obviously you can see he is really, really strong just overall. And definitely having that Soul Reaper killer in PvP, definitely a good thing. Um, again, I'm going to try drawing attack damage first in PvP, see how that goes, and then maybe switch him up to normal attack damage. Um, if you guys do want to see maybe some more PvP with him with normal attack damage, please tell me in the comments. That'd be super awesome. Anyways, let's get straight into this. So... Normal attacks. Actually, no, we gotta get low first. What am I doing? Okay, so we're down to three enemies. Let's see if we can get a little bit low. I don't want to get paralyzed at low health because that's always annoying. So, we can get low. There you go. So, first strong attack, we're gonna hit for 4k. Second strong attack, of course, we're gonna miss this sniper over here. And let's see if we can get third strong attack off. Break all the guards and normal attacks. Still hitting for 4k. So, if you do prefer still having your strong attacks doing decent damage, I would go for this hybrid build. But obviously, his normal attacks just deal so much damage. You really don't need the hybrid building. Just a few slashes. Enemies are clear. Just move on. You don't really need to use strong attacks in this case. And I'm down to one health, of course. So, he's got first strong attack, third strong attack. There you go. With that full screen, doing absolute work right there. Let's do this. Second strong attack. There you go. So, normal attacks. I'm not seeing any crits for 5k yet. Seeing almost maybe about 3k, 4k. Nothing too insanely high. But, let's see what we can do right here. So, I'm trying to focus on the numbers right now. And also, try not to die as well. So, let's go first strong attack. 4,500. So, I'm not seeing a crit for um, 5k yet, but I really do want to get some more Ginjo links, that's for sure. Ginjo or White Ichigo links would be really nice. There are fillers in this gacha, but I do want to save my orbs, so I'm going to do that for now. Maybe I might dis decide to do another multi on the step-ups just because the filler characters. I actually don't have Ginjo on JP, so that'd be really nice to get him as well. So, you know, that's a good amount of orbs right there. Dash in with that first shot attack, finish him off, let's just move on. I see, Stark's attacks. Just fast. He, he just takes down everything. You don't even know what hit them. Simple, fast, efficient work from a character. Does everything you need. Just that simple. Only character you need. Start. That's it. Except for maybe PvP. You, you, you probably need Kenny PvP or you probably get ready to the card. Okay, so let's go for a strong attack. Can we just take down these enemies already? Come on, Stark, I know you can do it. There you go. Swing for that 4k. Of course, that enemy's still rarely gonna survive. Let's move on with the special. So, PvP, strong attack damage with level 200 start right after this. So, first strong attack. So, still doing a good amount of damage. Um, definitely put on attention time, be able to do some good work. And let's just finish off Yaka right there while he's charging off his special move. So, great character. PvP. Definitely excited to see. Okay, guys, time for some PvP. Before we do, let's quickly have a look at what I've got. I know, Broken still not maxed out, haven't really been working on him, We're saving for new characters, saving for second anniversary Ichigo, okay? So, anyways, you've got Ichigo right here, stamina, stamina, 10% all stats, stamina, stamina, strong attack, extra 7% dodge rate, I don't know why, I just have it, could be clutch, you never know in PvP. We've also got Kenny right here, with basically full damage taken with that extra 20% from Grimjow, stamina, SP, attack, 30%. And then, of course, we got Stark, so I am building him strong attack, so do keep that in mind. But we got 20% um, increased, sorry, decreased um, against other attribute weakness, 20% SP, 40% stamina, 20% SP, 20% SP, 20% stamina, 20% defense, 25% strong attack damage, 20% strong attack damage, 20% strong attack damage. So, let's see what Stark does. Again, his strong attacks cover a decently wide area, especially for such a small arena in the PvP. So let's see how this goes against Shinsu right here. Hopefully we can find some people um, that are higher ranks. I believe I'm in rank 5 if I remember correctly. Uh, I might have to check again. Here we go. We got 200 Kisuke, 134 ring, 171 Shinsu. This should be pretty easy. Let's see what Stark can do against this full ring. And he's going to take down the full ring. I'm pretty sure that was all Stark right there pretty sure anyways absolute sweep in that first game so you know level 200 keys game not doing much i assume that was a farming team so let's get serious full bring he's everywhere in pvp 
N- never, never expected that. Sorry if that sarcasm was just was not clear. Anyways, moving on to the next fight, we've got Love 190, 200 full ring, and the cancer is Barrygon. So let's see what Stark can do. Stark is getting nailed by Barrygon right now, so I like to see some damage going on. Stark, he is good. Oh wow, Stark, you got weakened, man. What happened? I guess full ring and uh, Kenny did the carrying, so we're good. Let's just move on. So. So far, Stark not doing too much. I do want to see him against some Soul Reapers. We got Mugetsu right here. Maybe I should just put him as a party leader, honestly. Full bring in his strong attacks, just sweeping everything. I don't really think it'd make a difference, unless I maybe removed for the team. And also, Afro Dude reminds me, hopefully I'll get out a review. I'll record the gameplay today, maybe do a voiceover or something. But I'll record the Afro Dude gameplay today if I can remember. But that's coming soon for those who want to see it, if you do. Because, you know, he's Afro Dude. Okay, so, Don Guy is definitely doing work right here. I'm seeing Stark doing some good damage. Come on, Stark. There you go, raining those swords. Beautiful. Okay. So, Kenny just smashing that rock on ice and just reasons. Let's do this. That's three wins so far. Obviously, I feel like Fullbring is just carrying this too hard. When you just have Fullbring and Kenny on your team, and you're, you're basically set for PvP, really. Especially if they're 200, even though my Kenny still isn't 200 because of reasons. But, yeah, definitely, I also saw Holly Bell's gameplay, not exactly the greatest. I mean, Ukiwar didn't really interest me, but again, they are really strong characters, but, like, the fact that they're remakes, it's like, uh, the hype just isn't as big if you want to call it that, so. Definitely, wow, Gideon and Fullbring, can we take down that Fullbring, please? There you go. And with that boost, they're not going to be able to do much, and, who is it, Fullbring, with the finishing blow, so. Stark, I I'm not seeing Stark doing too much. But, you know, is that a 58 power, like, did, did I just, okay, you know what, we'll pretend we never saw that. Heisen, can we get a level 200 Heisen? That'd be interesting to see. We'll see level 200 Heisen versus level 200 uh, remake Stark. Definitely, the Heisen, I heard, is really, really strong at 200. But when I tried him out for myself, it wasn't exactly the greatest, probably because I had really bad stuff. 200 highs in, 180 will get to 150 gamma use that. Okay, this should be a pretty easy win right here with no full bring. There you go. Wow, that was sweet. Wait, Kenny got burned. Wow, okay. Well, moving on, I think I'm gonna go with one more PvP battle. Again, if you guys have any requests for stuff to do with Stark, maybe you guys want to see some more PvP with a normal attack damage build or whatever the heck, just tell me in the comments and maybe I'll do it depending on what I'm really feeling. Okay, Nori Tora. I just realized I'm going to be at a battery disadvantage. Okay, that was really dumb of me. Anyways, let's see what Stark can do right here. Hopefully, he can take down those pesky Soul Reapers. Who are we up against? Yami and Ukiora. Okay, interesting, interesting. Come on, Stark. Stark, you're the number one Espada. Come on, bring it home. Come on, come on. Full bring is just destroying everything with his full screen. And that, that's just done. Okay, wow. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be about it. Again, if you guys have any other requests for any other videos to do with Stark. Um, again, Afro do gameplay. Hopefully, I'll get it done by today. I have some other stuff I wanted to do, especially for uh, Buddy Fight as well. But regarding this, if you guys want to see any other stuff for Stark, I will gladly do it, especially if it's some stuff in PvP. Guys, I have not tested him out in PvP with a um, normal attack damage build yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if this was a little just rushed and stuff, but anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Good luck on your step ups. And yeah, try not to get too salty and deal with the K Lab servers and the connection errors.